Beneficiaries of the federal government's NPAR program have criticized the government for not living up to promises to youths employed in the scheme. Some of the beneficiaries from across the 36 states and Abuja converged on the federal capital territory, calling on the government to retain their services or give them a payout, as promised, so that they can move on with their lives. Our correspondent, Idong Joseph, reports. The NPOWER program was set up by President Muhammad Obwari in 2016. The scheme commenced with employment of about 200,000 beneficiaries making up the first batch and another 300,000 beneficiaries picking up the second batch. The scheme, which was aimed at addressing unemployment among Nigerian youths, was also set up to provide participants with relevant work skills necessary to find or create their own work. With those employed set to be relieved by the federal government so as to employ new entrants, many have expressed dismay over this decision. When this new ministry was created, we were happy because it gave us a hope that we have a ministry that will make the national investment program to be continuous. But on the contrary, six months into the ministry, we are seeing that the beneficiaries are not well managed, stipends are not paid when due, some persons are exited from the program unduly, some persons are not being paid, there is um, imbalanced payment, some people receive stipends, some people don't receive stipends. Some of them took to the streets of Abuja, to the National Assembly, and then to the Ministry of Humanitarian Affairs, Disaster Management and Social Development, calling on government to have a rethink. It's no more a rumor, it's a fact that in July, batch A that started up the program has been exited in June. Then batch B will be exited this ending of July. And then we have equally been told that um, we are not going to receive um, stipends from that period. We gather in the premises of Abuja since around 9 o'clock and we've marched to the House of Assembly. Of, uh, fortunately for us, one of the senators attended to us. Now we are here at the Secretariat. We want to see the minister herself to address this issue once and for all. But our hope was dashed out when we were told that the woman is not around. They say the exit package promised them by government has not been given them. Most youths have improved their social lives from their stipends of 30,000. And then you are disgaging these people back with nothing. We were promised exit plan, but as we speak, that has not been harmonized. When this government came on board for the second time, they promised us before we voted for them really? that something good is coming for us. They promised us permanent employment. Level, they promised us next level. And we can't continue like this. Since they promised us next level, is this, is this the result of the next level they are talking about? They also want government to absorb them in the various sectors which they were posted. We are working under the, um, under the NTH, NUT. We, are, we were posted to schools, both primary and secondary schools. Some are working under the Ministry of Health. Some are even working under agricultural farm settlement. So what is the big deal for the government to just say, OK, since we lack teachers in school, why not allow this one to continue as a permanent, as a permanent teacher in those schools? Idong Joseph, Plus TV, Africa.